Hello and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mobile Veterinary Services in San Francisco Stables. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about heart murmurs. Um, I just mentioned it on our Snapchat as well. But basically heart murmurs are um, an issue where we have turbulence in the heart and that's usually caused by a problem with the valves. So inside the heart we have different um, trap trap valves, babies basically trap doors, and so they allow the blood to go through and then with the counter pressure they squeeze back shut and that doesn't allow the blood to come back the wrong way. Sometimes you have um, a little bit of opening uh, and that will cause turbulence in that valve and that's what you're listening uh, to when you hear a heart murmur. And basically it sounds kind of like um, this can be caused by several different reasons. Sometimes animals are born with um, faulty you know, issues in their hearts, and sometimes uh, these issues go away um, really quickly after birth. So basically, uh, when the pets are in utero, so their fetuses in the womb, the blood is circulating throughout the body but missing the lungs because the animals aren't breathing. And so shortly after birth, that circulation changes to include the lungs. And sometimes this change takes a little while, and so you'll hear a heart murmur um, for the first couple of weeks of birth or so. But that should go away by six or eight weeks of age. Otherwise, they can be born with problems in the heart that last their whole lives. And then also heart murmurs, especially with issues with the valve, can be caused um, by dental disease. So the bacteria from the dental disease goes and attaches to the valves of the heart and causes the valves to become thickened and have little bumps on them and become irregular, what we call endocarditis. And this thickening causes the turbulence and causes those doors not to be able to shut completely closed. The other thing is heartworm disease that definitely causes heart murmurs. And so basically the question is, can a pet you know, live with a heart murmur their whole lives? What, con what kind of problems does it cause? So things that you might notice are if the murmur is bad enough, so if the heart disease is, is bad enough and the heart actually starts to decompensate, then you can have two different issues happening, depending on the side of the heart that is having the problems. One issue is that you can have fluid buildup in the belly, in the abdomen. That's called ascites. And the other issue is that you can have fluid buildup in the lungs, and that's con called congestive heart failure. And so either way, it's not um, very efficient or effective, and the pet suffers because of the fluid. If it's built up in the belly, then you'll see the belly getting larger and larger. So you may have an older pet, um, and the animal is starting to look pregnant. If it's building up in the lungs, then you'll see the pet starting to cough and this cough can get worse and worse and worse until they're actually spitting out some fluid and that can get pretty severe. Um, so this can be managed with certain medications, but we need to know what's going on, you know, why the murmur is happening, um, fix it if there is an underlying problem like dental disease or heart worms, and then be able to manage it. So there are several tests, um, even ultrasounds, um, echocardiograms, all of those things that we do to try and diagnose and, and better treat the issue at hand. If you have any questions or you're just curious, um, give us a call. We're more than happy to talk to you about it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.